Yeah, g'day. I just wanted to uh, show you this fella. Have a look at him. <laughs> what a smile on his face, eh? Now, here he is. Um, I, I've muted the sound um, just to, so we can watch him um, laugh and smile and, and whatever um, while on the news. Now, you might be wondering, what has he got to be so happy about? Has he won a uh, lotto? Let's have a look. Good evening. A policeman shot in the face while responding to a domestic attack in northern New South Wales has now been discharged from hospital. So, shot on Friday night in the face and discharged from hospital Monday morning. What a recovery. Miracle. But his badly wounded colleague remains in a serious condition with bullet fragments still lodged in her neck. The leading senior constable's father says it's a miracle she survived. Barry McMurtry has been by her side since he got the call to say she'd been shot. One of the worst moments of my life. Absolutely. Maybe the worst. Her neck was sprayed with seven bullet fragments when Eric Newman opened fire on officers called to his Glen Innes home on Friday night. OK, well, I'm just going to stop it there for a sec and do a, um, a Jurassic Liars uh, bit here. Did you hear what his name was? Eric Newman. New man. He's got the man, which is one of the codes, of course. One of the hoax codes. From what they can see, nothing essential was hit. It's a miracle. <laughs> and I'll put that one down to God. It's a miracle. <laughs> And I'll put that one down to God. And the courage of her colleagues. She was dragged to safety by Sergeant Mark Johnston, who'd been shot in the face. And there's another couple of um, hoax codes. Did you hear what his name was? Mark Johnson. Now, Mark, as M-A-R backwards, is the ram. The man, the son, and the ram. And his surname is Johnston, which is also a wiener. <laughs> and probationary constable Samantha Petty, who graduated from the academy just weeks ago. And there's another hoax code. Did you hear what her name was? Samantha Petty. She has the SAM, the S-A-M in her name, which is another one of the codes. Sergeant Mark Johnson was finally allowed to head home today, but it won't be long until he's walking the corridors of a hospital once again. His partner Chloe is due to give birth within weeks. Oh, there we go, pulling on the heartstrings. Oh, good old Mark Johnson's gonna have a baby or his missus is gonna have a baby soon. Oh, what a hero. The officers will now be considered for bravery awards along with neighbours who rush to help them. When somebody's shooting with a 303, you you're taking a risk even to get outside the house, aren't you? And they were very courageous. Barry McMurtry says while his daughter's condition has improved, she still has a long road ahead. There are actually still two bullet fragments lodged close to her spine and doctors are considering further surgery. And Mark... Well, there's another two uh, hoax codes. The, uh, the main news presenter, his uh, Christian name is Mark, which, as we know, has the R-A-M backwards. And um, this reporter here on screen, his surname is Fegan. F-E-G-A-N. Now, if you add those letters up, what do they add up to? You guessed it, 33. <laughs> While Helen hasn't been able to talk, she communicates with her father by squeezing his hand. Mark? Let's hope he can hear from her soon. Peter, thank you. <laughs> can you believe this shit, man? She communicates with him by squeezing his hand. <laughs> More like you mongrels are communicating with us by pulling our leg. <laughs> anyway, so much for the king of duping the light. All hail the king. Hail the king. <laughs> oh, I'm out of snow. Bullshit, 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 bullshit. No, no drinks for me, thanks. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit.